very basic trap design there, um, works very efficiently. With the mink being so curious, you don't have to bait the traps with anything. Um, <laughs> you can just leave it like that and the mink will go in it. And out of, I think, about 162 mink, we've only ever had to bait a trap once. Um, so, I mean, that, that just shows you it's not really a, a, an issue. They don't have to be going in there for food. Makes it very nice and easy to catch. <laughs> so yeah, basically once, once you've caught the mink in that, um, the, the only thing you can do legally is is to shoot it, basically, um, because it's, it's an offence to release them back into the wild. Um, so we generally use either an air rifle or an air pistol, contain the mink at one end of the trap, and then a single shot into the top of the mink's head to kill it quickly and cleanly. Um, and then we bury, bury the mink carcasses on site. Uh, that's at home. And I, I don't generally leave it in the car park if I don't have to. So. <laughs> I had my truck broken into before and it wasn't worth the amount of hassle with the police, to be perfectly honest. So, um, yeah, so basically that's, that's what we do. Set, set these in the tunnel. Um, quick demonstration. So you set that in there like that. The tunnel's designed to be exactly the right size to take the cage. Uh, easiest way to set the raft, the tunnel like that, and then you can see at a distance where the doors go and disturb the trap unnecessarily. Uh, putting a lot of scent on the raft unnecessarily and disturbing it or going up to it. Because um, we have had problems with people if they come across them they will get damaged. Um, we normally have maybe say 10 or 15 a year that get destroyed by the public, whether it be the traps get jumped on, the whole rafts get smashed up, people jump on them, break them in half. Um, just, just purely because of the fact they don't like the fact that there's trapping going on, despite the fact that you are trying to control an invasive species that will pretty much eat all the other wildlife down there. Um, so that's the basic rundown on the raft design. They're generally we rope them to a tree or something overhanging the river where possible and or put a stake in with it. Uh, but yeah, just to give you a sort of close-up view of it, if anyone wants to have a look around, look at what it is. Um, we'll see one hopefully at the top end of the reservoir if it's still in place. Um, you'll see the sort of sort of situation we're operating it in up there. So, yeah, unless anyone's got any questions about it. <laughs>